Hey, what's going on guys, Peter Lekouf here and in today's video I'm going to show you four creative ways that you can use with the mask effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting more time, let's go and see that. I'll start with the blur face effect. Go to effects, type Gaussian blur, grab the effect and apply it to the video layer. Then go up to the effect control panel and scroll down to Gaussian blur so we can increase the blurriness up to 80. But you can see that now the whole video is blurred. So to just blur the face, we can go again back to blur and click on to the rectangle mask and i'll move the mask around the face and adjust it so it can cover the whole face and by using the rectangular mask we've got the face blur effect next it's sky replacement here i've got those beautiful cliffs but i want to replace the sky with more dynamic one make sure that you select the video and go up to the effect control panel from the opacity select the pen tool go to the program monitor and from fit we're gonna change it to 400 percent right let's i'll have a better look of the sky so i can create more accurate mask then i'll start drawing the mask around the edges and because this is gonna take a while i'll speed it up and we'll come back with the final result Now when I'm done with the masking, I'll change the screen size back to fit so we can see better what's going on. Then I'll go back to the mask and tick on this inverted box so we can get rid of the sky. Then I'll move the first video onto the second video track and grab the sky replacement and place it below this video. But as you can see, it doesn't look so natural and that's why I'm gonna select the second video and move up to position and adjust it a little bit so we can have those clouds above the cliffs. And as you can see, already it looks much better. Then I'll select the first video again, go back to the mask and increase the feather to around 18 percent already looks really good but we can make it even better i'll go to colors from there i'm gonna go down to creatives and i'll use the kodak 3510 loot then i'll select the second video and use exactly the same loot and when i play it we've got amazing sky replacement moving next we've got title animation first i'll select the video layer and hit T for the type 2, then I'll create text anywhere on the program monitor. After that, I'll increase the text a little bit, move it further down and place it at the middle of the screen. Next, I'll select the rectangle tool and draw a line a bit longer than the text. Then I'll go to the effect control panel, open the shape layer properties and select the rectangle mask. But as you can see, it doesn't cover the whole line. So that's why I am gonna extend it until it covers it. From there, I am gonna move the cursor to the point where I want this line to appear and go down to the mask path and create our first keyframe. Then click onto the mask, grab the cursor and drag it at the beginning of the video and drag the mask to the left until the line disappeared. So when I played, you can see that we've got a line animation, but it's a bit slower. So that's why I'm gonna drag the second keyframe closer to the first one. And this is gonna make the animation a bit faster. Then I'll open the text properties and create the same rectangle mask. But again, we have to adjust it so it's gonna cover the whole text. And this time make sure that the bottom of the mask is at the middle of the shape layer. Then I'll go back to the effect control panel, move the cursor to the point where you want your text to be reviewed and then create a keyframe by clicking on the position stopwatch. Next, I'll move the cursor a few frames backwards and by dragging the text down, I'll create our second keyframe. Then moving up, I'll go back to the text mask feather and decrease it down to zero. And when I play now, we've got a good text review animation, but we have to create a outro as well. To do that, I'll select the text, go down to position and scroll a few frames forward. Then I'll copy and paste the second keyframe by hitting Ctrl and C and then Ctrl and V. Then again, I'll move a few frames forward, copy and paste the first keyframe, again by pressing Ctrl and C and Ctrl and V. So to make the line to disappear as well, I'm gonna copy the second keyframe and paste it a few frames forward. Then I'm gonna copy the first keyframe and paste it a few frames forward as well. And by using the mask effect, you can create this text review animation. Here I've got this lady and I want to make her face to pop out. So to do that, I'll go to color, open the basic correction and increase the temperature also i'm gonna increase the exposure and bump up the contrast as well 
Then I will go to creatives and I will also increase the sharpness. But as you can see, I made the whole video to look brighter and I don't want that. I just want to isolate the face so it can pop out. And to do this, I will go to the effect control panel, scroll down to the Illumetric color and select the pen tool. Then I will go to the program monitor and increase the size up to 200 so we can create more accurate mask. And because it's gonna take a while, I will speed up this part of the video and I will come back when the mask is done. Now when the mask is done, I'll go back to Lumetri and increase the mask feather up to 30%. And instead tracking her face frame by frame, I'll go to the mask path and click onto the tracking button. Like that, Premiere will follow the movement of her face all the time and this will keep the mask on her face. Also, if you want to learn how to create super cool title animations and professional transitions in Adobe Premiere Pro, then you have to check those two videos. And please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.